to a vinyl unboxing. The vinyl we're going to be unboxing is this album. This is Obituary's um, new album that came out um, two years ago in tw um, 2014. This is Inked in Blood. I've um, never tried this album. I listened to Obituary before and I enjoy them. They're not a bad band. Um, the reason I picked this up is because it was on sale on my FYE and it was only in it. It was like the Red Hot deal shit and they said all Red Hot deal stickers ones were 50% off. So I was planning to get a Megadeth but I didn't have enough money. So sadly I couldn't pick up Megadeth. So instead I pick um, this one up and yeah like um, it was really like it only cost me 17 something dollars from the original price was like 35 FYE usually sells their vinyls to too overpriced in my opinion, too overpriced. Oh yeah, sorry for the beats. My friends are group chatting because we're about to play zombies and I don't know, they're just acting stupid right now, I guess. But um whatever, zombies is gonna come soon. I may live stream that, but yeah, so we'll get you so let's unbox this bad boy. Give it a try. Um this is from Relapse Records, but I know this is, um, they resealed it because, um, this is not the original seal. They never, Relapse Records now, I forgot which year they started doing it, but they stopped doing, um, they stopped, like, sealing their vinyls and they just put them in the sleeve. So, like, every time you get a Relapse Records, it's always on a sleeve, not on a seal thing. So, either they had this in FYE and either the sleep got really damaged so they real sealed it because this is not the first time they did it they real sealed an item because I bought um, Black Dahlia's um, Black Dahlia's Murder I forgot which is an uh, ritual album and it's an FYE exclusive and that one was uh, that one was resealed because the, I, I, I remember the original one had a sticker on it and the packaging wasn't like this flimsy and cheap so fuck you one thing I didn't like about it, it's just a bit dense in the corner. But other than that, it still looks fine. This is like a nice inbox. So it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, the album cover looks pretty cool. I, like I said, I, I listened to this album before, but not as much. Like, I heard a lot of people saying it was a pretty good album. So I was just like, okay. And it's a gatefall. This picture of the band members where did he record it um no inner sleeve which is surprising i don't know if they're supposed to come with an inner sleeve so like if you know about this please inform me and um yeah i know it's not gonna be nothing special because i had a feeling it's gonna be just a plain black one the black one i know is limited to five thousand four hundred copies so yeah but for an album just to give it a try, um, I guess it's pretty pretty cheap. I guess it only cost me like seventeen dollars for this album. I wasn't like I told you, I wasn't really planning to get this because I was planning to get Anthrax at my record store. But the thing is, the record store was closed. Even though they, I checked online of their time and it said it was supposed to be open until six. Got there five ten close and it just really pissed me off so yeah so I might as well just pick up this vinyl because it was 50% off it's been there for a while no one was buying it and I was just like fuck it I'll buy it I'll be the only person to buy it I decided if I look kind of tired because today was just really pissed me off day let's just say that but other than that I'm pretty happy with what I find cheap not expensive give it a try if you want um it's not bad I heard it's really not a bad album. I heard it's not for bass, but I heard it's not a bad album, so. I don't know. It's, it's it's up to you. It's up to you to judge, because not everyone have the same taste and same opinion about certain albums. But yeah, d definitely give this a try. Yeah, this is going to be fun to like take out and shit so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys next time so take care and stay metal